Hello, I'm Alex Fortner, Milton's Fire Marshal, and I'm here with Police Officer Chad West to talk about what you should know about fireworks here in Milton. With certain big holidays coming up, it's understandable that people want to see fireworks. Don't use any homemade fireworks. Let's stick to the people that know what they're doing who are making these things. And remember, don't shoot fireworks when you've been drinking, and don't use fireworks when you've been using drugs. So why do these rules exist? Fireworks are dangerous. Fireworks annually cause 20,000 fires, $105 million in property damage, and sends more than 9,000 people to the emergency room with fire-related injuries, a third of them being children under 15 years old. So if you're gonna use fireworks, keep them, keep them away from children, wear protective eyewear, never ignite a firework in your hand or indoors, set them off a safe distance from people, houses, and flammable materials, and have a bucket nearby to soak spent and unused fireworks before you discard them. Yeah, that's some really good advice. Uh, and those tips would pretty much apply just about anywhere you're at. But what we need to remember is that Milton has a unique community. And to start out with, we have some veterans in our community, and some of those veterans suffer from PTSD. So remember to be courteous to those people that these fireworks may trigger some old scars. And don't forget to get out and talk to your neighbors and let them know that you plan on shooting off fireworks during the holidays. Now we also have a very large and proud equestrian community. And some people's horses do get scared by fireworks. Now you think about how large a horse is and it gets scared by fireworks and starts running around, it could very easily injure itself, whether it runs into a tree or a fence, or it could also injure its caretaker who's trying to calm it down during this time. So the best advice is to get out and to talk to your neighbors and let them know that you plan off shooting off the fireworks. Also, don't forget that there are certain household pets that get anxiety from fireworks as well. So the best opportunity is to always speak with your neighbors about this. So what can you do? You can start by consulting the city's website to become more knowledgeable. And if you're going to use fireworks, we ask that you be a good neighbor, obey the rules, limit the amount of time fireworks will blast overhead, and let your neighbors know your plans, especially those with horses, veterans, and household pets.